Well today guys, in this video I want to talk about the drama from late 2019 and early 2020 in the guitar community and how that ultimately saved, yes, saved the guitar community. Let's get into it. So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ray, I'm a guitar player here on YouTube and this video and this topic of this video has been on my mind for quite some time and I think now that the dust is kind of settled, at least for now, I feel like it's okay for me to talk about it. So the drama that I'm talking about, you guys already know, but just in case and just so I'm, you know, I can be clear before we get into today's video, I'm talking about the whole fake Instagram guitar thing, you know, and kind of Jared Dines being the, uh, you know, the forefront of that whole drama fest. And then the Rob Chapman drama fest that happened around Christmas time and then kind of translated over into early 2020. And it's been kind of, you know, settling down in, in the last week or so. Before I give my own thoughts, guys, leave your thoughts down below on the, all the drama that ensued in late 2019 and early 2020. What did you like? What didn't you like? Who do you agree with? Who don't you agree with? Do you think it's done? Do you think everybody can kind of just get on with their lives now? You know, just leave all your thoughts down below and I'd love to hear from you and I hope, I really genuinely do hope, we can have a nice civil conversation, man. I don't want any toxicity, any drama to come into my, my, my channel and into this video. I'm really trying to bring some positivity into today's topic. So just leave all your thoughts down below and we can have a nice friendly discussion. All right, sound good? The whole fake Instagram thing happened around like just before Thanksgiving time, give or take. I can't really remember exactly when. But basically, I think a guy by the name of Jack Gardner, he compiled a, a, a video showing how people, you know, manipulate the audio and the visuals and then sync it all together. And it like, it, it like kind of blew my mind a little bit. Like I was like that, that meme with that lady thinking like with like the algebra or whatever's going on. Like I really was thinking that way when I was watching his video. I was just like, man, that's intense. Like why do people do that? But hey, apparently people do do that. And then from that video, and I think Leon Todd, another great channel, a channel that I look up to a lot, he kind of did similar, you know, a similar idea there and sped up his videos just to show, hey, this is what people are doing. Once the word got out that people were doing that, then people started accusing other phenomenal guitar players. Now, some people got called out that were doing it, but I think what was way worse was people that weren't doing it that are just really naturally gifted were getting called out and then being attacked. And that's where it really started to turn pretty ugly. And then Jared Dines, probably the biggest, arguably the biggest name in the guitar community, at least in the metal community, community in my opinion. He made a video, not necessarily calling out people, um, but certainly like kind of like looking at other people's playing and then kind of insinuating a few things here and there. Um, I think the video has since been taken down. You know, he, he, I think he did come from a pretty neutral standpoint, but it did, it kind of like, it's. it was starting to like, verge onto like the side of like kind of calling people out um you know whether that was his intentions or not it's not for me to, to say or to judge um but basically lucas mann from rings of saturn and a gentleman by the name of uh okay yeah manuel gardner fernandez i believe that's how you say his name yeah he um he really got attacked by um i believe just predominantly fans of, of jared dines and then kind of the whole guitar community so that whole drama fest kind of blew over and kind of resolved itself when lucas mann um, came out and and basically explained what was going on because there's this video circulating of him It looked like he was miming live. He made a very intelligent and very intellectual and articulate Video explaining what was going on in that said video and then uh, Manuel also like kind of posted a couple videos showing that he does what he does live And you know, it was just kind of like a camera phone following him around and so like, you know, these dudes were legit but then next the bigger one the bigger story that happened like a month later give or take um, was the, uh, what was it called? The audio audit, I believe it was, with, uh, Rob Chapman from a channel called KDH. And, um, yeah, man, it's just like, he was calling out Rob Chapman saying he was doing this, this, and that. Without getting into the whole bunch of details, just calling him out on some things, some business moves. And then Rob Chapman responded in a way that was very, um, I gotta use my words carefully here. I guess the, the consensus was that Rob Chapman handled that whole ordeal the wrong way. Then he recently just made a video about, like, maybe a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. And he explained himself and he apologized and he said what he did was wrong. And I think the whole Rob Chapman, Chapman Guitars drama is now over. So now getting into the title of this video, how did all of that nonsense, I call it nonsense because it really is. How did all of that save the guitar community? And I think it, it's a pretty, uh, pretty obvious and pretty glaring, you know, reason why. And it's, to me, it's the fact that people as big as Jared Dines, for example, or people as big as Rob Chapman, for example, 
they can mess up, man. They can make mistakes. You know, all too often in the comment section of my videos, my peers videos, everybody in the guitar community, we all face hate comments. We all face, we all face trolls and we all face, you know, just nasty people in the world attacking, you know, our content and our creative ideas in these videos that we create. You know, you know, it's, we do it for uh, a passion project more or less than the money. And the fact that people that are negative in the world come onto these, these videos is really kind of just kind of sad. You know what I mean? And so then when bigger channels and bigger people like Rob Chapman and Jared Dines, again, I'm not attacking these two gentlemen. I'm merely using them as an example because they were like the forefronts of these dramas, these drama events that happened in the recent memory. I'm not attacking them personally. I'm just categorizing them because the drama happened to them, whether they were the reason for it or not. Okay, so it's just, please don't get that twisted. When people as big as they are, they, they can get involved and wrapped around the negativity in the guitar community and they can even themselves make a mistake. And so it makes people like myself and I think a lot of people realize that, hey, nobody's perfect. People make mistakes, people are gonna mess up, and it's really easy to get wrapped around and get involved in this whole drama fest and this toxicity that is the internet and YouTube. Now for me personally, I can't speak on the behalf of everybody that's watching this video. It was a reality check for me, man. Like it's like, you know, no matter who you are in this community, it's so small and people are gonna hear what you have to say, both good and bad. You know, you think Jared Dines and you know, Rabia, Ola, Fluff, Fluff, what's up, man? How you doing? You know, just a lot of people up there, you know, that are the big names in this community, man. Like, they watch everything and they hear everything and people watch them and people hear what they have to say. So it's like, no matter what you say, both good and bad, it's going to get around and people are going to listen to you. And so it's just a reality check for me that, hey, be kind to everybody and give everybody the benefit of the doubt. And so what I mean by that, what I'm kind of hoping for to happen in the guitar community, what I do believe has happened and is continuing to happen as these two big events kind of just you know, get further and further into the past. It's like, everybody just chills out, man. Everybody relaxes and everybody kind of just like realizes, hey, everybody's human. Everybody for the most part has good intentions and everybody just kind of wants to hang out and, you know, just talk about tone woods and talk about pickups and talk about, you know, their favorite bands and talk about string gauges. You know what I mean? Like we're nothing but a bunch of dorks in this, com in this community, man. We all like the same stuff for the most part. And we all like talking the same stuff. And so, like, when you start to bring and invite that negativity into the community, man, it's really easy to just turn everybody toxic. I mean, you know it's a big deal when magazines as big as Guitar World, you know, Fluff said um, Guitar World recently did an article on it, man. You know it's, like, a serious business and a serious deal when, you know, Guitar World's reporting on, like, hey, man, like, the guitar community is very toxic and has become very toxic very fast. And so I feel like these two events, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that they're, like, the crescendo of this set increased toxicity and like we're on like the back half now we're on the decline now because everything was like building up building up building up building up everybody's getting more and more tense more and more aggressive pushing the envelope exposed videos you know attacking people uh, x y and z and then it, ex it pretty much exploded in november and december of 2019 and it kind of carried over into early 2020 of this year you know like january february this year um and like i'm hoping like it's all kind of like the dust is settling and I'm really hoping, and I do believe, I really do believe that these, these toxic events of the recent past saved the community because it kind of like everything came to a head and exploded. And now everything's kind of just like settling back down. Everybody's kind of being like, wow, that was crazy. Like there's people did some things wrong. People did this, this wrong people, you know, things were said, things were done, videos were created, but you know, Everybody can learn from it, and I especially can learn from it. I really do believe that the community has been, like, kind of revived, and, like, the positivity has been revived. I feel like, you know, everybody's kind of just being, like, you know, a little bit more chilled out now, and I, I hope I hope that this positive vibe and this kind of, like, decompression of everybody's anger about the guitar is, like, you know, is, is going to kind of just continue to just mellow out, man. We can all just kind of just, like, just hang out man and just chill out and just talk about the stuff that we love i really hope that's the case and i really think that's what's happening right now and so lastly guys everybody that i've mentioned in this video i'm not talking badly about i'm merely just reporting on what has happened and giving my own opinions and you know i really just hope that everybody can continue can continue to just chill out and relax and everybody can just kind of enjoy themselves and go back to playing guitar and learning and and creating man no more energy wasted on negativity man let's just all just chill out 
and just kind of just kick back, man, and just just enjoy creating music, man. Like, we're not going to be around forever, man. You know, we're all going to die very, very soon in the grand scheme of things. You know, just, you know, I'm 28 years old, man. If I live to be 100 years old, that's not that far away in the grand scheme of things. So, you know, like, does everybody just chill out, man? And I think I think the guitar community will thrive and everybody will have a lot more fun <laughs> creating uh, content on the Internet for guitar players, bass players, drummers, vocals, etc. All right, that is my opinion. That is how I believe that the guitar community has been saved from the whole drama that occurred last year in early 2020. Again, what do you guys think about my opinions? And what do you guys think about, you know, what has happened in the past? Leave your own opinions down below. And I really, I really do want to have a nice, friendly conversation, man. Again, I'm not sticking up for anybody that I just mentioned. I'm not, I'm not accusing anybody as well. I'm merely just reporting it as as somebody that was watching the whole thing from afar and being like, oh my God, <laughs> this is crazy. And then now I'm just giving my own opinions on it. Again, not sticking up for anybody, just saying that things happened and uh, I hope it's all done. That's all I'm trying to get at, guys. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I got a lot of cool guitar content on this channel for you guys. I am out of here. A sincere thank you one more time to you watching at home, my patrons for always supporting this channel. If you want to become a patron, link is down below. Help support this channel. I am out of here, guys. Stay metal. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.